Riverside versus StreamYard. If you're a content creator, podcaster, live streamer, or an online event host, you've probably wondered which platform is best for your workflow. Now, StreamYard was recently acquired by another company, and ever since, their pricing has actually gone way up. So, many creators are looking for alternatives. Now, one of the most obvious options is actually Riverside. Now, in today's video, I'll break down how the two compare so you can decide which one is best for you. For full transparency, I've been a paying customer slash user of Riverside for quite some time. I've also tested and used StreamYard to live stream, so I'm very familiar with both platforms. However, since this video was actually sponsored by Riverside, my goal is going to be to show you the facts, compare the features, so you can decide for yourself which one is best for you. So let's not take much time, let's get into it. What is going on guys? My name is Sam, you're watching our production tips and tools. And of course, we're going to start with the first thing, which is going to be the pricing. Now, starting with StreamYard, as you know, and I already mentioned it, they have been acquired by a new company. And ever since, they have actually changed their pricing. It used to be way cheaper. Now it's a little more expensive. And of course, if you go to streamyard.com slash pricing, they don't even show their pricing. So this is their page right now. As you can see, they have for individuals, they have free, core, and advanced. And there's no pricing there, right? They don't tell you how much. Until if you click start a seven-day trial, then you create an account. Then you log into the platform. Once you get inside, now they're going to show you their pricing. So as you can see, now I'm logged in. I had to create an account. I mean, I already had an account. But once you logged in, you can see now for the free one is obviously for free. It's not going to give you much on either, by the way. But if you go to the core, this is like the first one. Monthly is $44, almost like I'll say $45 per month. And then the most popular, what they call the most popular one, which is the advanced one, is $88, which is like $89 basically per month. So that's really not, man, I mean, like for me, I don't think I can afford this amount of money. Okay. Again, depending on where you are in your creation, content creation journey, this is probably no big deal. But I wanted to show you for Riverside before we get into the features as well, how much they actually charge for their plans. So now I'm on Riverside pricing page. And as you can see, the first one, obviously, they have the free one to kind of let you taste it and see if it's good for you. But also they have the pro, the first one, the first tier. All right. It's only $29 per month. Now, if you go to the live, this is the one if you add live streaming and some other cool features here, I'm not going to go through everything. But the second tier is going to give you, you're going to get it for $39 a month. And of course, business, you can get some custom pricing for business. So as you can see, it's almost, I mean, looking at the highest tier actually compared to StreamYard, it's less than half of what StreamYard cost actually, which is mind blowing. Again, I'm not going to make conclusions for you guys. My job is to show you the facts. The next thing we're going to compare is going to be the recording quality. Now, when it comes to Riverside, Riverside was made at the beginning was really focused on podcasting. So they have mastered the recording part of it. And most of people, me included, actually started using Riverside side because of their local recording feature which allows you to bring in a guest and then record locally on your computer and your guest computer despite their internet connection how good or bad it is you're still gonna get a full high quality recording recorded locally on the computer that's not depending on the network and then after the recording is going to upload both recordings and you're gonna get them into your studio both the video you can record up to 4k audio is really really good 48 kilohertz audio and it's just amazing now when it comes to StreamYard, they have actually introduced used to be only 1080 now i just checked they have also introduced local recording in 4k now when it comes to audio quality definitely they don't disclose what they are giving you to be honest even the video quality guys like it used to be hard to know how much you're getting from StreamYard. all right so but now because i have introduced the local recording as well but if you were to ask me which one is better when it comes to local recording i mean this is just super new for StreamYard and Riverside has been doing this. This is like their cool bread and butter kind of feature. They have been doing this for years. This is perfect for podcasting, for bringing in remote guests, 
professional interviews, if you want to create some evergreen content, this is going to be a game changer. Again, remember you're getting this feature for way less compared to StreamYard because this is the on their first tier when it comes to Riverside. And for StreamYard, this is going to be like on the highest tier. Let me show you actually what it looks like. For 4K recording, this is right here. So it's going to cost you $88.99 per month to get the 4K local recording. And again, for Riverside, you can see here, is actually available on their most basic which is i mean it's called basic but this is the most popular the first year which is 29 dollars a month on the pro account on the pro tier so now let's talk about editing workflow now most people some people actually do use external tools for editing you know something like premiere pro davinci resolve but it's not everybody who's actually comfortable or who's a professional editor to be able to edit their content using those tools plus they're not free you may have to pay for some of the tools to be able to edit now these two platforms actually do promise or do offer some editing capabilities and starting from Streamyard you can see their interface really again this is a new feature again for Streamyard. you're trying to get into the editing game and creating clips but i can assure you guys i've been trying it and testing it it's pretty basic okay so this is what it looks like right now i just recorded a quick clip but as you can see you can go here where it says edit and repurpose it's gonna give you 16 by 9 or a 9 by 16 kind of very cool but you can see like even when you choose it it's gonna reframe your shot it's just gonna put like take a 16 by 9 kind of you know framing and put on the 9 by 16 frame it just doesn't look professional all right it doesn't crop it doesn't do anything and it's just super super basic all right again i think it's even still better now when it comes to using ai but they have what they call ai clips again this is still in beta guys like by the time i record this video again you can click generate and it's gonna generate clips for you uh, again to do this i have to upgrade still in beta super basic i cannot promise you that this is gonna give you really good results but for now they have that feature it just got introduced but when it comes to riverside guys okay oh my god oh my god when i say oh my god they have a super super wow editing suite built into riverside guys okay let's go ahead and switch to my projects right here so i can show you so go to project we got this quick clip that i recorded here okay but once you get here let me show you what you have they have something they have introduced called co-creator this is like an ai kind of built into riverside okay and then once you go here it's not only gonna give you the ability to edit as you can see if i go here to edit it's just gonna give you a normal text-based editing kind of workflow where i can just go by just using my text like right now i can go let's say this is a clip let's say for what is going on if i want to remove that i can just go here what is going on and i can delete that part and boom it's gone that's how easy it is to edit in Riverside. But on the top of that, right, if you don't want to use this text-based kind of option, you also have like other tools to cut and add, you know, some videos. I mean, it's just so, so good. And the user interface really, really looks good. As you can see, guys, it looks super modern, clean. I mean, I just love it, okay? But on the top of that, let me show you. If I go here, it says AI tools, okay? As you can see, you have so many cool stuff here. You have, you can remove poses, you can remove filler words, you can find fluff and remove that. This is awesome for editing a podcast, okay? And then you can go to Magic Audio. This is gonna give you like, let's say your audio was not good. Maybe it was recorded with the phone or something happening with the microphone. I still encourage you guys to use a good microphone so you can get good audio. So you don't have to use these tools. But sometimes it happens and you maybe select the wrong microphone or you're in a place where you were not prepared and you probably had your phone, all right? And you want that content to kind of go out. You met someone that you admire, you didn't have your gear, and you wanna make sure you can get that piece of content out because of the value. Now, this is where Riverside is going to shine because it can actually magically transform, kinda make your audio super, super high quality. We also have Smart Mute. You can mute someone, let's say you were talking and then your microphone was on and there's some noise in background. You can actually get to mute those parts where the guest is not talking. 
all right you have smart layouts if you have many gates you can actually go ahead and play with it and it can kind of switch like between layouts i mean so many cool things here that you know let me see let me show you like all the layouts they have available here again if i had many people on the screen you can see like even the cropping is just automatic right if i want to do like this kind of type of layout again if i had another video here you see like how what it will look like or if i want to change to something like this you can see like it's automatic if i want to do something like this or let's say i was sharing my screen and this was my screen this was my picture right you can see like it's so easy to do and it just works amazingly all right can go back again you can even see the user interface is just like wow all right so um i can go to fit and then boom it's gonna go back to full screen i can even fix my eye contact right so this is cool you can even create some animations if you want to do animate clip i've tried it guys i actually i can show you a clip that i did it looks really really good if you want to do some cartoon maybe you want to promote your show using cartoons it's possible as well right so i mean it's just riverside has packed so many features in there when it comes to editing guys i don't even know what to say <laughs> okay but also hold on let me go back here okay to the main editing page here and then let's go to co-creator this is another cool feature that riverside has introduced that was just editing which included some ai tools as well but this one here it gives you some other options one you can do the magic clips kind of magically have a long recording it can just go through it and give you some amazing clips that you can post on social media you have episode description it can create some text for your episode you also have thumbnail design kind of ai base so if you don't have time to do manually your thumbnail this is just a suggestion but you can also you know if i clear here i can ask for suggestions and it's gonna give me all these suggestions so they say i want to create a blog post out of the podcast that i just recorded i can just click here and then boom and it's gonna go through the entire thing and create a blog post for you right which is super cool again guys i cannot demo everything i'll encourage you to just create a free account and try all these things because it's amazing right now when it comes to other stuff you can ask it to create like an intro so they say let's go to the suggestions again again you can even type this is ai based guys you can prompt it to do anything but let's use this prompt which is create a promo trailer clip and you can click here and it's gonna think it's gonna go through the clip you just have available and then it's gonna look for you know specific kind of you know key points that you spoke about and then it's gonna give you a clip you can use as an intro so let's click here and see what we get here and of course it's text based so you can even read it you can go here where it says edit okay again what it gives you it's not final obviously i use this generic clip i don't even know what's in the clip but let's see what we have here there we go we can play <clears throat> right now we are actually live on youtube we should be live and we are recording in high quality which is awesome what is going on so we're gonna go ahead and actually play along so just say a few things all right so the clip that i had here did not make a lot of sense i think i was just testing riverside this is not a real podcast but i just wanted to show you i created it's about three minutes and it gave me kind of a clip that i can actually manually edit i can still use the text here and then find some maybe elements i want to remove from the clip and boom i'm gonna use that clip so again the sky is the limit reading now the next feature i wanted to compare is the streaming capabilities obviously when it comes to streaming Streamyard has been in the game a little longer actually longer than reverse side riverside started as a podcasting tool now they have added the live streaming capability which you can access right now on the other tier that allows you to live stream now for Streamyard, they have started as a live streaming tool when it comes to live streaming they are i'm not gonna say they're very good but they really get you what you need when it comes to live streaming they got layouts they get comments on screen they got you can multi-stream to multiple destinations they really give you the full live streaming kind of suite and as you can see if i go back to the studio it's kind of like you know very basic easy to use the interface is really easy to use and it's kind of beginner friendly really all right you got all the branding and as you can see again the whole thing is browser based which is good and really like it's gonna give you everything you need when it comes to live streaming obviously i'm not gonna say that it's a bad tool super super easy to use however if you want to do some advanced stuff okay that's where it kind of gets limited a little bit as you can see they just introduced new things called the scenes 
This is like the ability to be able to create like complex scenes and layouts. Again, this is still in beta again, but I would say if your primary thing is to live stream, StreamYard is gonna give you really what you need. Now, when it comes to Riverside, again, Riverside is super packed when it comes to podcasting and obviously editing and everything, but live streaming too, it's got it. Basically, they were able to implement I would say actually everything the StreamYard does, right? You can see that you got like all the layouts, all right, available. You can go live to multiple destinations. So if I go here, you can see I can add, you know, YouTube, Facebook, customer RTMP. You can invite guests simply by sending them a link. Same thing in StreamYard. You can stream in full HD, obviously, which is what StreamYard does. You can run webinars if you want to run webinars and stream directly inside Riverside, which is StreamYard does it, Riverside does it as well. And you got all your chat coming in, no problem. You got the branding, you can add your logo, you can create like some cool looking text. You know, as you can see, I can change my text in here. I can add media, music. You still have that in uh, StreamYard as well. You got your layouts here. Again, I don't have another speaker or another guest on, but if I had that, you know, you would see what it would look like. So to be honest, the user interface in Riverside, by the way, guys, again, I'm a little biased here, but I have to admit it's a little cleaner and it's a little modern compared to StreamYard. I feel like StreamYard is kind of all over the place. But again, you can see for yourself and choose, you know, tell me which one is better. In fact, let me know down below in the comment section, comparing to StreamYard, which one has a better user interface? If you ask me, I honestly think that Riverside has a cleaner and modern user interface. So for live streaming and, you know, the amount of audience you can bring in, I think both software, to be honest, even though Riverside was started kind of focused on podcasting, I feel like they have been able to do a good job to implement the live streaming feature. Again, for full details, like if you want to run a webinar with that other people, you can see like for the most popular advanced plan here with StreamYard, it gives you up to 1,000 viewers, okay? And when it comes to Riverside, they actually give you up to 1,000, uh, obviously. So I would say the audience seems to be the same. If you think you're going to have more than 1,000 people attending your webinar, maybe it's better to just you know run like a YouTube kind of webinar style where people can watch on the YouTube link instead instead of having all of them in the, in the studio, right? So that's that. I just wanted to show you guys what's possible. When it comes to branding and studio tools, you guys can see the user interface here in StreamYard and the user interface here in Riverside. I still believe that StreamYard is a little easy to use, but I feel like it's kind of all over the place. It's not that clean. It's not that modern. You can also like look at the banners and some of the, you know, let's say if I want to bring a comment in, you can see like how huge it's kind of full screen. Screen. and i feel like riverside is cleaner modern let's see if i go to chat here you know just to show you what it will look like you know just a message for us to bring in a message here a sample message so let's say hello again you can customize all of this but i want to give you an idea right so if i go here and hit show on stream you can see like it's kind of modern it just looks good right so again, you can even customize it and change it to something else again. And that's my take, all right? It's up to you. You tell me what you think down below in the comment section. And again, guys, for me, I've been using Riverside for bringing in guests, podcasting, and a little bit of editing, creating clips for social media. And guys, another cool thing they have introduced is like translation where you can translate your clip into multiple languages. It's just mind blowing. And the editing portion of it is just amazing. I've also used it to live stream. I have other live streaming tools I've used, but so far Riverside has been amazing. StreamYard, same thing. And if you were to ask me, StreamYard for live streaming is really good. But when it comes to podcasting, editing, and AI tools, I feel like StreamYard is not there yet. So it's up to you to choose depending on why you need the most. But my conclusion, I feel like Riverside just has everything. It has everything and pricing is way lower. So again, I don't, I don't want to make a decision for you. Go ahead and try both and you let me know which one 
you like. Now, if you want to try Riverside, uh, I'm going to leave a link down below so you can actually try it. They also were kind enough to give me a discount code. You can use live production as a discount code and you're going to get 15% off on your plan, which is amazing. So check them out. The link is going to be down below. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Take care.